What is good, YouTube? It's your friend that was Nick Head Vlog with Dimitri, and I'm coming back at you guys with another video. This video is kind of like a part one, part two type video. In this video, I want to talk about my experience using Klarna as well as eBay for the very first time. But before we get into it, man, if you're new of it, this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You're on the road to a thousand subscribers, and at a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, so you definitely want to stick around for that. After you get done with that subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, which is the thumbs up button and hit that notification bell so you can notify each and every time I do a video or a live stream. People who don't know what Klarna is, it is a payment system, kind of like Afterpay, Affirm, Cezzo, so forth and so on. I'm pretty sure you heard of them, if not all of them that's out there. Uh, I wanted to do a video like this years ago, but I never got around the time to do it, so I figured why not do it now. And it's also my first time using eBay. I've never used eBay before to buy sneakers or anything for that matter. I always heard the horror stories when it comes to eBay, so I just figured I'd just stay away from it. But now that they have an authentication process, I figured let's just test the water with eBay. And so far, I have been satisfied with my experience. Now, I ordered this shoe on a Saturday, and the shoe was authenticated and delivered to me by that next Thursday. So, that's very quick authentication and shipping compared to StockX and Go, as well as the prices. Now, with the price of this shoe, I did meant to save a few dollars versus getting this shoe off a of GOAT. So that's also a plus to me. For the most part, when it comes to prices on eBay and GOAT, there's always a few different, a few dollar difference, or they just probably around the same price. But instead of talking guys head off about it, this is going to be a short video. I'm just going to show you the shoe that I purchased and then uh, after this video, I will be recording the review, so stay around for that. As you can see, we got an orange uh, Nike box with a white Nike. And putting up the lid, I already been through this shoe. It is the Nike Dunk Low Jackie Robinsons. Like I was saying earlier in the video, this isn't a review of the Jackie Robinson Dunk Lows, but this is more so my review of using the Klarna app as well as eBay for the very first time. Now, when it came to using the Klarna app, it was very easy to use and very easy to navigate. All I needed was my name, my address, as well as my social security, and I knew within a minute whether or not I got approved and how much I was approved for. Now, when using the Klarna app to make purchases, from my understanding, the more you use the app, the bigger your balance will be. So I'm assuming after I'm done paying these off, which won't take me long at all, my overall balance will increase so I can start making bigger purchases. Another thing about the app is that, yes, certain amount you do have to break down the payments in the four, but they also have a six month as well as a 12 month uh, process if you need to make, you know, somewhat of a bigger purchase. Not saying that's something I look forward to doing in the future, but it's just something I want to test out. Also, while buying these shoes, it was easier for me to use the Klarna app rather than going on GOAT and trying to purchase it with Klarna because using the Klarna app you get a payment calculator so you know what your payments will be when you're paying on the shoe and it's not necessarily the shoes you can use it on eBay you can use it at Walmart you can use it at Sam's Club so forth and so on so you don't necessarily have to use it for shoes but like I was saying they did have a payment calculator that let me know what my payment is going to be before I made the purchases and of course when you originally made that first purchase they go automatically take out the first payment out of your account now, some people are gonna look at this video and say, I can't believe people are, are out here making payments on sneakers. If you're making payments on sneakers, you don't need the shoes anyway. Now to that, I say, using Klarna for me personally is no different from using my credit card. Every shoe that you see behind me, I purchased with a credit card. I really don't like using my debit card simply because my credit card gives me that extra added bonus, whether I get it in points, which I can save up to pay for another pair of shoes like I said before that's how I paid for my Trevor Scott Olives or if I want to take a vacation and use some of the points to kind of like take the cash off uh, said vacation there's many different things if you use a credit card for any purchases to me using Klarna is no different all I gotta tell you guys is just be financially responsible don't go out spending money you don't have and you get yourself in a very hard predicament to get out of. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys ever use Klarna, if you ever use Afterpay, 
sizzle, a fern, any of those like that, and let me know your experience. It says you're from the neighborhood Snakehead Vlogger with Demetrius. Stay tuned for the review of these Jackie Robinson Dark Lows that's coming up very soon. I appreciate you guys, and we out. Peace.